Now you can go from 4 thousandths all the way up to 3 eighths thick. Real thin sheet metal. This right here is about 20 gauge. All right, now instead of buttoning it together, give yourself about a 16 to 1 8 gap. You allow that steel to breathe. We'll use just a copper coated mild steel rod in these 70S series right here. You're still on your four pounds of oxyacetylene. All right, now steel has a little higher melting temperature, so all we're going to do right here is make that cone just a little bit longer. All right, now I'm also going to show you a little easier way to weld with it. Normally you heat the metal, dip the rod in and out, just like we did on the aluminum. Here with the steel, if you'll take that rod and lay it right on the metal, take that little cone and just walk up the rod, wait for it to melt, wash it right back into the puddle. Now try not to let that rod pull away. Just keep it pushed into the edge of the puddle. Try and get both of your hands comfortable when you're welding. Just take that little cone, walk up the rod. Just always make sure it's melting. Now it don't make a difference how dirty, oily, greasy, rusty. You can do a nice gap weld. You can weld vertical, lateral. Just walking up the rod, make sure it's melting. All right, you get very little metal movement. Very nice weld, 100% penetration. Stick it in the water. Now, water and steel don't, don't go real good together. Now, you can come back, you can hammer weld, shape, form, and move that metal, and it's just not going anywhere. Very little to grind off right here. Very little distortion.